Since coming to Poland about a dozen years ago, I've been asked the same question countless times. Why did you come here, Chris? Why did you stay? Well, okay, the second question is a bit more complicated. But the first one I can answer, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to tell you why I came to Poland. With Closely Observed World, I'm Christopher Walker. It was back in 2004 that Poland acceded to the European Union and with their entry into the EU uh, the, the path was cleared for Polish citizens to move across to the UK if they chose to and quite a number did. Now whilst this probably sowed the seeds for what would later become Brexit a lot of people talked after around the Brexit referendum that whilst they weren't racist or xenophobic they didn't quite like the idea of Polish people, or Romanians for that matter, coming to the UK and taking their jobs at half the pay. Of course, nobody started thinking, wait a minute, who is it giving these people jobs at half pay? What kind of employer would do that? No, in Britain we've long been taught to blame the wrong people for our own problems. But I digress. So in 2004, what was I doing? Well, I was working in retail at the time, if I remember correctly. I think it was in the Dixon store group, probably at that time for Curry's, although I also worked for Dixon's on High Street in my hometown of Stamford. And when that became Curry's dot digital, I worked there for a spell. So I got to meet a lot of different people and Stamford around that time, sleepy little town, famous for Burley House and for being the filming location for one of the, the many adaptations of Pride and Prejudice, probably the one with Kira Knightley that I haven't seen. It was a, an area that needed a little bit of a bit of oomph, a bit of heave ho. And when a large number of Polish people started to come to the town, that's basically what we got. We got a shot in the arm. And with the arrival of a lot of these Poles, Obviously, a lot of them needed to buy homewares for the places that we were renting. Maybe something to while away the hours when they weren't at work. So, inevitably, a lot of them came to the shop where I was working, Curry's, the big superstore just out of town. And uh, that's where I first met Polish people. I'd never been to Poland before at that stage. The closest to it was neighbouring Czech Republic and I'd been to Prague. Um, a year or so before the, uh, the EU enlargement. But I didn't know what to expect from Polish people. I wondered when I started hearing the rumours that all these people were coming across, are they going to know the language? Are there going to be problems with communication? Is the culture just very, very different? And they started coming into the shop in dribs and drabs. And you know what? They were some of the most remarkably cultured people I'd met. They spoke very good English. They were all around warm, interesting, interested characters. And I felt very happy to have met them. And I remember doing a bit of reading at that time. The only Polish writer I knew was Stanisław Lem, the great science fiction writer. So I used that as my kind of icebreaker when I had customers from Poland. I would say, oh yeah, I know Stanislav Lem. I've always wanted to go to, uh, what's that city called? Rocklaw. That's it, Rocklaw. I want to visit Rocklaw one day. And they politely said to me, what do, you, what, what do you mean by Rocklaw? Where is that place? So I wrote it down on a piece of paper for them and they showed me the correct way to pronounce the word, which was Wrocław. Well, I'd seen pictures. I thought, wow, this city looks incredible. I really want to visit it one day. And I did, eventually. I've been there a number of times, and it is a magnificent city. Uh, in history classes at school, I did history up to GCSE level. Uh, this was not Rocklaw, Wrocław, but Breslau. Breslau is a very famous city in uh, the history books. Norman Davis has written a whole book about it. Not that I've read that, of course. So, my first interactions with Polish people were enormously positive. 
And so the desire in me was born to go and see the country that they'd come from. They spoke neither ill nor well of it. They'd come to Britain seeing a land of opportunity. So I started to see Poland as a land of opportunity. You know, these, these Poles coming to England, they spoke very good English. They must have learnt it somewhere. Maybe I could go into that sort of thing. I had an experience in Japan that proved not particularly fruitful in terms of teaching, but I started thinking maybe I should give it another shot. So in time, I came round to the idea. Retail grew boring. I decided that I'd had enough. And I signed up to do the, uh, the CELTA, the initial teacher training certificate for English teachers, at International House in Krakow. I nearly chose Wrocław, actually. Almost went there. But in the end, I decided that Krakow was the place to go to. I think the decision came down to where I could fly to more easily. So I went to Krakow and I started this course and the people I met there were fantastic. They were wonderful. Lots of university students, but not just that. Everyone I met was really, really warm and welcoming. Poland had always had this reputation in the past for being a grey, dismal country full of grey, dismal people. Nothing could be further from the truth. And after 12 years working here, teaching here, meeting Polish people here, I still have the very same impression that the people of Poland are what make it a country worth coming to and it's a country worth living in because of them. So that's my answer. Why did I come to Poland? Because of the people. Also because I found this little web page where you could click uh, radio buttons next to the countries that you'd visited in your life. So I did all of that and there was this big patch in Central Europe where Poland was that I hadn't visited. I've been everywhere to the, well, most of the places to the east, most of the places to the west. There was Poland waiting for me, calling out to me. But that's by the by. I'm sure that's not really um, why I came here. You know, just to tick a box on a web page. Who would do such a thing? So there you go. That's why I came to Poland. I'll make another video another time discussing the reasons why I stayed, but since I'm married with two children, I think you can guess what they might have been. So until next time, thank you very much and goodbye.